Hey guys, uh, back with another installment. This is Quiz One Limits One, so it should be pretty fairly simple, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this is your first, uh, I guess, online quiz. Given c equals two and the graph of the function f below, and it says uh, find the limit as, as x approaches c, and remember that c was already two. So if I approach two from the left, it looks like it's two. If I approach two from the right, it looks like it's two. Since it says the limit, I'm gonna choose the y value of two. And there we go. This is obviously a 100, guys, so all these questions should be correct here. So again, this one says c is four, and they want the limit of x approaches four of this function. Well, if I approach four from the left, it's one. If I approach four, uh, four from the right, it's infinity. Because I'm approaching from both directions and I'm approaching two different things, it is, does not exist. If I was approaching from the left, it would have been one. And if I would have been approaching from the right, it's either a positive infinity or does not exist. They're both the same answer. Evaluate this limit. It's not a rational function. It's just a radicand. You just do direct substitution. And that should give you the answer, guys. So square root of two squared plus seven times two plus six. So let's see what that is. Two squared is four. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 6, 14 and 6 is 20, plus 4 is another 20, is 24, so I got square root of 24, but that's the same thing as 6 times 4, 4, the square root of 4 is 2, so 2 square root of 6. The formatting came out a little funny there, but, uh, you know, it's still, you're still fine. Uh, limited as approaches 3 does not exist, why? Because if I approach 3 from the right hand side, so here's 3. 3 is a vertical asymptote. If I approach 3 from the right-hand side, it is positive infinity. If I approach 3 from the left-hand side, it is negative infinity. So it looks like that, guys. And it's easy to see. If it would have had a minus sign there, it, oh, what was that about? If I would have had a minus sign in the upper right-hand corner, it would have been negative infinity. If I had a plus sign, it would have been positive infinity. Uh, infinity is just a behavior, so it does not exist would have still been the valid reason here. Uh, this one, you can do direct substitution, but you can't factor out the numerator and denominator. So I write the word limit as x approaches 0. I factor out an x, and I'm going to have 7x minus 8. And on the bottom, there's my x there. So those x's cancel out, guys. And now I can do direct substitution. If I plug it in 0, I get 7 times 0 minus 8. So just negative 8. Let's go to the next question. This is the difference of cubes. Uh, x cubed minus 1, really, I mean, I guess it, I guess technically, um, well, let's not go into technicalities here. Uh, difference of cubes. Let me, write, use it, let me write the definition, guys. x cubed minus b cubed is simplified to, or factored out to, a minus b, uh, a squared plus ab plus b squared. And there it is. So I'm going to simplify this, guys. I can't do direct substitution. Oh wait, there's no need to do direct. Uh, there's no need to factor this out because I just realized that yes, you can do direct substitution because you don't get a zero in the denominator, so you're fine. Limit as x approaches one of this function. So sorry about that, guys. It's just going to be zero divided by two. As long as there's not a zero in the denominator, you're good. So this is just zero. Silly. There, that is the difference of cubes, though, so I bet you some problems will utilize that. Uh, so just that's something to know. Uh, what's the sum of cubes in case, uh, in case this problem is one that you have to utilize this? A plus B, A squared minus AB plus B squared. All right. This one here, limit as x approaches 0, so I need to test both from the left and the right. Limit as x approaches 0 from the left of this function is zero because I'm using this one and I can just do direct substitution to x squared. Limit as x approaches zero from the right hand side of this function is, let's see, negative eight. In case you're wondering how this function looks like, guys, it looks something like this. It looks something like, let's see, parabola, hole right there, and then go to negative eight. Here's negative eight, and then another hole, and then slope of one. So it looks something like that. So as you can see, if you approach from the left, if I approach from the left, guys, I'm approaching zero. If I approach from the right, I'm approaching negative eight. Since I'm approaching two different numbers, it does not exist. This one here, it looks like I can factor out an x squared. 
So limit as x approaches 0, factor out the x squared, and I'm going to have x plus 2 over 5x. It looks like one of the x's cancel out here, one of those and one of those. So now I can do direct substitution. So I have 0 times 2, which is just 0. All right, uh, last one here, guys. It looks like uh, I can factor out a negative 5, but I'm still not going to have that expression. Limit as x approaches negative 2, negative 5, factor it out, and then I'm going to have x minus 2 over x plus 2. Uh, that's not going to help. That negative 2, if I, as you can see, nothing cancels out, guys. Um, so just by looking at it, uh, you can tell already that negative 2 is a vertical asymptote. x equals negative 2 is VA. So since it's a vertical asymptote, it does not exist. The limit does not exist. Let's see, do we got anything interesting here? All right, limit as x approaches 2. So i got to check the left and the right. Limit as x approaches 2 from the left of this function. If I approach 2 from the left, i got to use this guy. That is 4. Limit as x approaches 2 from the right of this same function. If I approach 2 from the right hand side, I use this one. 2 plus 2 is 4. So these match. So my limit must be 4. If you're wondering again how this graph looks, let me see if I can do a sketch here. I'm going to say that's 2. A 2, you're way up at 11. That's 2, 11. And then it's an x squared until you get to their hole. And uh, then a linear line. And it plugs that. So here's the one in red. Here's the one in blue. And then I just go linear line. And it looks something like that, guys. So there it is. And I think that's it, guys. So hopefully give this video a thumbs up. And uh, we did every single question. So hopefully this video helps. And uh, we'll call it a day, guys. All right. Bye.